In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May your brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memory of St. Charles Romagna and Campania's Matthias. In this holy mass, especially we remember our brothers Paul and John Peter. 
Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I thank first to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's pray. Our God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your source, watered by the blood, shed by St. Paul Bavani and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm grateful to God who I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did. As I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior, Christ Jesus who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to the light through the gospel, for which I was appointed preacher and apostle and teacher. On this account, I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed, for I know him in whom I have believed, and I am confident that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until this day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sponsor of the song. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you, I lift up my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord our God till he have pity on us. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. And the resurrection and the life said the Lord, whoever believes in me will never die. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, A summer's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child. His brother must take the wife and raise up a descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. 
The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants. And the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God called him? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, we know that Jesus reached Jerusalem for his final Passover feast. As part of a well planned plot to harm Jesus, the chief priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees meet him with a controversial question. When Jesus ingenuously escaped from the first two traps, the Sadducees asked a question concerning the, the, the manifest status after the resurrection. What does this gospel passage teach us? Jesus speaks about the resurrection. So, Jesus invites us that we need to live the lives of resurrection people. That is, we are not alive, we are not to lie buried in the tomb of our sins and evil habits. Instead, we have to live joyful and peaceful lives. Constantly experiencing the real presence of the risen Lord who gives us the assurance that our bodies also will be raised. The celebratory thought of our own resurrection and eternal glory also should inspire us to honor our bodies, keeping them holy, pure, and free from evil habits, and to respect those uh, with whom we come in contact, rendering them loving and humble service. Amen. Amen. Let's place before our Lord our petitions. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a moment of silence, let's place before our Lord all our petitions. In this holy mass, especially we remember our brother Max Saint Case. In this holy mass, especially we remember our brothers Paul and John Winter. Let's place, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy hear our prayer. prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hand, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your
go put the sea house, see if the wine be over you. Fruit of the earth and fruit, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer your sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you, O Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, our mighty and eternal God, for the blood of your servant Matthias, for our life, Christ to Christ to glorify your name. Shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you per weakness you perfect your power and are the people bestow strength to bear your weakness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before before your majesty, without and we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy. Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, O I tell you for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the thalys and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the thalys of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We you proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the salis of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring them to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, our Bishop William Johnson, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be for years to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our Lord, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And 
the Savior's command and form the Bible's divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless God, those for to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I deserve to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs, South Slavonia and companions. May our help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us in the face of Christ, step us in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended the high priest. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. 
be and may be made worthy, worthy of the promises of Christ. Christ. Yeah. 